I've never had Raspberry Pi, but I do have a Raspberry Pi computer right here. And this is currently the Raspberry Pi 3, but I want to talk about how much computers have come such a long way and how from, for a day-to-day -day user, you don't actually need that much. And this is where the Raspberry Pi 400 comes in. So the Raspberry Pi 400 is the newest version of Raspberry Pi. And the cool thing about it is it comes in a keyboard. Yes, I said it, it's in a keyboard. Think, about, think back to the first Mac. It was this humongous keyboard with all the electronics on it. You took it, you came up to display, you attached the display and you started working on your Mac. So this is 20, 30 years later, Raspberry Pi has done the same thing that the MacBook did 30 years ago, but it's so much more powerful than it was back then. The Raspberry Pi 400, the cool thing about it is They've taken this Raspberry Pi, improved it, and they put it into a keyboard. This keyboard is tiny, it fits just your hand, it is the perfect size, and the cool thing about it, it's not just a computer. It's also, for those of you who have never been using microcontrollers and microcomputers, you can use these computers to program servos, program motors, and you can use them to create new robotics and web systems and designs anything you can think of you can do it on this and they're so cheap to do so the thing i like about this raspberry pi 400 is before you would need to get a case for it you would need to get the power adapters everything else and it would just be in this enclosure but what raspberry pi has done cleverly is they put this into a keyboard enclosure. That means this keyboard can just slide into your backpack. You can take it anywhere. You find a computer, you find a monitor, you plug the power into the wall, plug the monitor into the keyboard and you have your computer right there and then. And the cool thing is it can run all different types of operating systems and all you have to do is switch out the SD card. And these computers have Wi-Fi, they have Bluetooth, they have uh, inputs for camera modules and they have GPIO pins which are um, input output pins for analog digital anything else and if this is something new to you let me break it down the cool things about these computers right now is they're so powerful that you can run YouTube on them you can edit files you can search the web you can do whatever you want for an everyday user who is probably using excel sheets word documents the google drive youtube as their daily users this is a computer they can take on the road yes i understand you have your laptops and everything else but this is just a keyboard right here this is just a keyboard and you can do everything with it it's all there you just need internet and a, and a cord for plug-in power and a display which is usually attached to every monitor but the other kicker of it is you can build stuff like this. So this robot right here, it has servos. Right now it has about one, two, three, 12 of them. So there's three on each leg. So this is a spider robot. And you can take this robot and you can plug it in into these GPIO pins, which are on the PI400 in the back where all the connectors are. And you can use it to control the motors. You can program it to run the robot. You can program it to look for things on a camera you name it this computer is so powerful most people don't need much more and the clever thing about it is the packaging the keyboard is the packaging they finally took what worked well and made it better so this is for all of you who's never done programming who've never done microcontrollers if you're curious about this stuff and have a lot of questions comment down below i'll answer anything that i can I'm an electrical engineer. I work with microcontrollers, Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, you name it. I know about this stuff and I can get you started if you're interested. So if you've never been on this microcontroller path and you wanna get started with, this would be a great new computer that you can start, that you can do everything on it. And that's all I have for you guys. Just wanna make a quick video of how well computers have grown over the years, over the decades that this is something that you might be interested in, something to dive in, something to spend your time in while you're sitting at home. So if you got any questions, comment down below, make sure to subscribe down below, and not miss any more, more of my tech reviews, tech videos, and other tech talks. And stay tuned for more, because I'll be doing a lot more reviews. And if you want to know more in depth about the Raspberry Pi, comment down below with your questions, and I'll get back to you.
See you guys. Have a great day.